No one told me this about my period. I have six things that after today, I want you to know are not normal and help is out there if they are happening to you. So let's get going. Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Dr. Jennifer Lincoln, board certified OBGYN, author, educator, and I make this YouTube channel, which is the health class you didn't get in high school because we learned like nothing about our bodies in high school. So go ahead and like, subscribe, turn on the bell so you never miss an upload. And this week's video could save your life. So let's talk about these six things that you may have not known about your period. And you may think, whatever, Jen, like that's not that big of a deal. These things can cause serious issues and you don't know they're not normal. So how are you gonna get help and potentially prevent something like cancer? So today we're changing that. And these are all things that either my patients have said to me or people on social media have said to me. None of these are made up. The first one is, I didn't know my period shouldn't hurt. Now, a lot of you are going to be in the comment section and be like, of course a period is gonna hurt. And what I'm saying is, yeah, it's normal to be like a little crampy, need to be like a little bloated, maybe a little nauseated. Like I get it, right? Our like hormones are changing, but what is not normal is if it is so bad that you can't go to school, you can't go to work, you are taking around the clock pain medications. That is not normal. And I am sorry if anybody has told you that's just the way it is. You gotta suck it up. Or your doctor was like, well, we'll just put you on birth control. Now, yes, birth control may be the treatment, but we need to get some more information first because could it be endometriosis? Could it be fibroids? Could it be something completely unrelated to your period, like irritable bowel syndrome? So I am not here to say that birth control is not the answer. Actually, for a lot of these things, it might be, but it's really helpful to make sure that we dive into it to get a diagnosis so we know what's going on. Drop a comment in the comment section before if you've been told, yeah, it's totally normal for your periods to hurt and ruin your life. Like, if this is groundbreaking for you, please go ahead and share this with a friend so that more women out there and people who have periods are not suffering unnecessarily. Okay, the second thing that I've had people tell me is I didn't know that when I get my period or just before it, I had no idea that I'm not supposed to be an emotional wreck or seriously depressed. I just thought that was normal. The answer is it's not. You could have PMS, which up to 30% of us get which again, common does not mean normal. So I want us to break that narrative because you do not need to live with that. And have you heard of this thing called premenstrual dysphoric disorder? That's like an even worse form of PMS. And I have information on both PMS and PMDD in this video up here. So if that's you, go ahead and check it out. But PMDD can affect up to 10% of us, one in 10 of us, and it can ruin your life. But if you don't have the words to know that it's not normal to be so sad that you don't leave your house, or that you call out of work because you're so angry or anxious, um, then how are you gonna know that help is out there? Number three, I didn't know it was normal to bleed more than seven days. I was just told that's how my periods are. No, it is not normal to have a period that lasts more than seven days, especially if it's heavy the entire time. This can be a huge sign for a bleeding disorder, which you might be surprised is not as uncommon as you think, and can go very much undiagnosed for a very long time in people who have periods. It could also be a sign of fibroids, of polyps, of infections, and more concerning, of cancer. So if you are bleeding for more than seven days, I want you to get checked out so your provider can see what's going on. They might wanna do an exam, they might wanna do an ultrasound, they may wanna do some blood work so that you are not sitting there like hemorrhaging or bleeding for one week out of every month. The fourth thing I've heard, Oh, I thought it was totally fine to go three months without a period. In fact, I like it because I don't like my period. It is normal and it is totally okay to not have a period if you're on hormonal birth control, but it is not normal if you're not doing any of that to go three months or 90 days with no period. Yes, it can be normal for periods to be irregular in the first couple of years when you're just getting your period and also as you're approaching menopause, but it's not normal otherwise. And this happening actually puts you at an increased risk of cancer of the uterus. I can't tell you how many patients I had when I, when I still had an office practice who came in and had a diagnosis of pre-cancer or cancer of the uterus. And they said, well, nobody ever told me that I should let my doctor know that I don't get a period regularly or I only get one or two periods a year. That is a really high risk factor for cancer of the uterus. So you need to let us know. And it's true. There are lots of reasons that you may not get that period. It could be stress 
could be eating disorders. It could be autoimmune disorders, like a thyroid disease or diabetes. So I don't want you to think like, oh my God, if I have that, I have cancer. But know that these things can lead to cancer if it's untreated. So let's figure out why you're not menstruating regularly and get you back on track. And yes, again, it may involve treating you with birth control, but we're using that to prevent cancer. But we want to figure out why is that happening in the first place, especially if down the road you want to have kids because not having a period regularly will for sure affect your fertility and your chance of being able to get pregnant successfully. And then the fifth thing on the flip side, well, I didn't know it was abnormal to have a period every 21 days. I just get my period frequently. I was told I have a short cycle. It is not normal to bleed every three weeks. The normal cycle is between 21 to 45 days. So if you are bleeding less than that, if you are bleeding every 18 days, every 17 days, number one, that's not normal. And we got to see what's going on. And number two, that sucks. So why live like that? But again, if you haven't been told that, how are you going to know that you should access healthcare to get help? So I'm hoping we're, we're busting those myths today. And the last, the sixth thing that I didn't know it was normal, I didn't know it was normal to be 15, 16, 17 and not have a period. I was just told I was a late bloomer. So if you are 15 or, you know, you have a daughter who's 15 and they haven't gotten their period or they're younger than that and they haven't had a period within three years of breast development, that is a reason that they should have a workup for something called amenorrhea or not having a period. Because it could be that there's something autoimmune going on or something structural, either with the vagina or the hymen or the uterus going on, because you should be having a period by that point. It could also be related to chromosomal abnormalities. There are some things like fragile X or precursors where the one sign that you have is that you haven't had a period yet. And I also want to highlight here, this doesn't have to do with your period, but if your child or if you are 13 and you haven't had breast development yet, that's another reason to get evaluated. So your healthcare provider may want to run some blood work. They may want to do some imaging to see if it looks like there is a normal uterus and vagina present. Is there a hymen that is completely imperforate and, and there's blood behind it and that's why you, you or your child is not having a period? So all good reasons to check in with your healthcare provider. Okay, in the comments section, how many of these things did you have no idea about? And you're now going, oh my gosh, I need to see my healthcare provider or I need to take my child to get checked out. Go ahead and drop me a comment. As always, references and resources in the show notes below and follow me on all my other socials all week long. I've got lots of other content too on this playlist up here about periods. So go ahead and check that out. And until next time, stay informed and be able to advocate for yourself. And I hope that my content is helping you do that.